It's 6.30 on a Saturday morning. It's a sunny day. Me and Lee are going on an adventure. So let's go. So after a two hour drive, we are in Runnermead, which is between Windsor Castle and somewhere else. There's a few places on this site. So we're at the JFK um, Memorial and the one acre plot of land which was gifted to the Americans in 1965, shortly after JFK was unalived. I gotta say that word because of you two, but it's gonna be a very interesting location, so stay tuned for more. So the Magna Carta actually happened to you as well, and I may be wrong, but this is possibly where they actually signed it. Now, I didn't know about this until Lee said this was actually done, yeah? So I was only really coming for the JFK Memorial, to be honest. But it's pretty cool. Sorry about the wind in Atlantis. Getting as nice as it was in South Wales this morning, isn't it? We are right on the flight path of Heathrow as well, which it's absolutely mad the thing about, but this place is massive and it's so much to offer that I didn't even know about. But like Lee said about the Magna Carta, like I said, I'm excited to see one acre mile because we'll technically be in America. So we could literally step into England and into America. Um, and then it's the JFK Memorial. And if you look somewhere in the background, you may be able to see a plane. I'm not too sure because I'm just currently filming on my phone. Lee is filming as well, so be sure to check his channel out as well. Um, I'm just so excited for this weekend. There's going to hopefully be three videos from this trip. So pause this if you want to read it, but obviously John F. Kennedy was unalived on November 22nd, 63, and then this plot of land was donated in 65 then and the memorial was produced and the acre of land was actually given to the Americans. So Lee has just gone ahead as we walk up these steps and what a beautiful location I highly recommend come in if you're in the area. Uh, this is Runnymede like I said, it's run by the National Park, a National Trust. Parking isn't too bad, but some beautiful, beautiful scenery. Absolutely stunning so far. On the 22nd of November, 1963, JFK was unalived by allegedly Lee Harvey Oswald. In 1965, to celebrate his life, the British government built the monument and gifted the acre land to the Americans so it would forever be on US soil. Two days after Lee Harvey Oswald was arrested, he was also unalive. The memorial is built out of a seven-ton block of Portland stone carved in the words of Kennedy's first ever speech, which he addressed on January 20th, 1961. So here it is, with I believe uh, a John F. Kennedy quote as well. You should be able to see that. Preservation of the United States, 61 to 63. Died by, you can read that. Let every nation know whether it was wishes us well, oil, that we shall pay any price, bear any burden, meet any hardship support any friend or pose any foe in order to assure the survival and success of libertarian from blah 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 stunning and over here then it's so Lee's just informed me there's two benches here one's dedicated to JFK and one's dedicated to Jackie his wife 
She didn't die though, they and then did she? No, no. Just a few years later, I think so. in the 90s. But all of this plot, as you can see here, the one acre, all of this is owned by America. So as I keep on saying, me and Lee are now technically in America. Feels weird. We were in England 30 seconds ago. It would have been cool if they had some sort of sign to see where the one acre is, but yeah. you literally just got to look on Google Maps. Really nice though, guys. It's really quiet considering how close Heathrow is and Windsor Castle. Is it this way, Lee, or? Um, back that way. Oh, back that way Windsor Castle is. So, you know, we're quite close to... We're on the border of Surrey and London, really. 